Hello there everyone, welcome to the Toy Room. I'm the Toy and Game Collector. And today I will be reviewing three vehicles I happen to own in my Star Wars collection. That vehicle would be the Imperial Troop Transport. As you can see, I have three. This one is from 1978 or 79. This one's from 1980. And this one's from 2014. We're gonna be talking about these one at a time. So let's get started. This is the original Kenner Imperial Troop Transport, released during the Star Wars line of toys during the late 70s. I'd show you how the toy works, but it, but uh, a battery won't fit in this thing, so I can't tell you if this thing works or not. Now, this is one of the first vehicles that was sold that didn't appear in the movie, but it was popular enough. As you can see, you can hold six troops on the outside, or you could put prisoners in them. You have a driver and a gunner. I have a TIE pilot in there. And on this side, I have the Death Squad Commander. If this toy was in working condition, you could press these buttons, and different sound effects would play. Get R2-D2, C-3PO, a Stormtrooper, a Stun Blast... Laser Blast, and I can't remember what the other sound was. And right here, there used to be a satellite dish that would turn the gun here. It's not bad condition, considering this thing's age. And we have the little blaster turret right here. And on the back of the toy, this is a, yeah, I have a little stormtrooper in here. What this was for, you would put your your droids in here. This would be their prisoner compartments. Well, you can fit whatever else you can fit back there. Like, I have some extra blasters back there. Not too much to say, besides it's pretty cool to have one of these. Just drop this blaster. Right. Next, this is the Imperial Cruiser, released during the Empire Strikes Back line. And this was a Sears exclusive, if I'm correct. It's basically the same vehicle. But there's a catch. When they re-released this to make this toy cheaper, they took out the, the electronics. And they squeeze this toy doesn't make any sounds. Like, these aren't buttons. And instead of holding a battery, this was a, re a weapons compartment. Right here, where all the electronics will go, you have cargo space. Move this crate. See, you have cargo space. Pretty dusty in there. But otherwise, it's basically the same vehicle. Still pretty cool. You know, I like it. Right now, we're going to the Rebels Imperial Transport. You know, this toy was released around 2014 for the Star Wars Rebels cartoon. Let's take a look at the box pretty quick. Here's the box. Here's the vehicle in a fantasy scene. Yeah. Right there, it tells you to watch Star Wars Rebels. You know, back when that was still a show. Yeah, I enjoyed Rebels. I really did. It's the back of the box. Imperial troop transports de deploy stormtroopers into battle and are equipped with heavy armor and powerful laser cannons to eliminate any rebel threat. It's the back. This thing opens. There's the gun. Pretty cool. Alright, enough, enough looking at the box. Let's look at the toy itself. Here's the laser cannon. This fires two missiles. Here's some rebel stormtroopers. I always found their helmet designs a little goofy, but I still love collecting stormtroopers. This thing doesn't have wheels, unlike the, the Kenner one. This has them molded on there. It's still, it's still a nice toy. Here's some Rogue One Stormtroopers. Now, one thing I forgot to mention with these is these things hold some modern figures pretty well in here. Like, here's a Power of the Force 2 AT-AT driver. Here's some Rogue One Stormtroopers. Here's a Stormtrooper from some box set in 2002. And here's a Disney Star Wars Stormtrooper. At least, I've heard it's a Star Wars Stormtrooper. Can't confirm or deny that. 
Yeah, back to the Bevel's transport. This has two guns on the front that move. Pretty cool. This thing opens, and you can hold three figures inside. I have the ATDP driver, the Grand Inquisitor, and I have a Power of the Force 2 Death Star Trooper. Let's take a look at the inside. Cool. Yeah. I'm not sure if this is what these holes are for, but you can hold blasters in there. No extra weapons for your troopers. Cool. Mm. Yeah, this doesn't make any noises, but hey, hey, I still enjoy it. Oh. This guy's stuck. Hmm. You gotta watch these troopers. See, so yeah, a pretty cool toy. Not much else to say about it. This thing did come with a bunch of stickers, though. These stickers were... Some were easy, some were harder than others. The windshield here, that wasn't a sticker, that was printed on. But stuff like this stuff here, and these old control panels in the vehicle, those are pretty hard to get in there. Yeah, I got most of them on. I can't complain. This, this vehicle came in three pieces. You got the vehicle itself, you got the lid and this back piece. Well, that's, there's not much else to say. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Thank you for watching.